My name is Mike Wychocki. I'm the chairman, and CEO, and lead investor of a company called Eagle Rail Container Logistics. We're based in Chicago, Illinois. We're about five years old, although we're a global company, and we have employees in seven countries. We have about 18 of us right now. We're we're a pre-revenue startup, but we've been around for you know over five years. I think the biggest challenge we've uh, I've experienced in my current role is when we're out in the marketplace getting people to see the bigger vision. So collectively, everybody knows they have the problem. The ports know they have the problem, the shipping lines know they have the problem, the rail companies know they have the problem, and the um, port authorities know they have the problem. But trying to get them to see that we need to work together to solve this, because typically everybody is invested in their property, their, their business. The ports care about their port, the rail lines care about the rail lines, and trying to get them to care about each other as a network is kind of our challenge. So I actually like that. I'm a, I'm a, I believe I'm a, a good people person. I bring solutions to the table and we say, okay, how can we all benefit from this? I'm a big win-win-win guy. I believe in abundance, not scarcity. So I think everybody can win in an equation. I actually believe that truly, that one side doesn't have to lose for the other side to win. So we say, how can we all win? Now we might not all win to the level you would want to, but if you give a little here, give a little there, everybody kind of gets this new network set up. And so we're trying to bring parties together and everybody agrees the technology is right. Can we build a cross system on everybody's properties that makes businesses codependent or interdependent on each other? That's probably the biggest challenge. And once they see how it benefits everybody, the light bulb kind of goes on. It's very satisfying for me to be able to bring that solution to a lot of different parties. Well, the challenge that the industry is facing and what we're facing is tr getting people to understand that there is a way to solve this problem. It's, it's kind of a previously unsolvable problem, and the way they solved it in the past was just to get more independent truck drivers. The problem is they're running out of independent truck drivers, and people don't want more trucks on the road. So the idea to get people to think outside the box is the first challenge. Now, what's interesting is that's getting easier. I can even see that in the five years I've been on the road, where people used to say, well, I don't know what to do. And we say, well, what about a rail system, a light rail system? Now, when I say, what should we do? People are actually thinking outside the box, which is interesting, but what they always say is, what about drones? That's their first solution. And I say, well, you're not going to fly a 60,000 pound container over a city. A drone's not going to work. And they say, what about tunnels? And I say, well, tunnels are expensive and very hard to build underneath the property. I say, what about a light rail system that could do the same thing that what an Amazon warehouse does, but outside? And they go, that's a great solution. So getting people to sort of recognize there is a, a solution, a third box besides ground rail and trucks, a light rail system is a very doable and it's, and it's reasonably uh, inexpensive and it works very well because it goes over other obstacles. It's up in the air. So it goes over roads, it goes over rail, it goes over power lines. So we're not competing for ground space, which is really pretty exciting for people.